These films have the potential to be timeless. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that will become classics in the future. Okay, come on, uh, Dinas, we gotta figure out a way back to the beach. Hey, if you need a ride, I'm heading that way. For this list, we're looking at modern movies that we believe will hold up with time, and will be just as revered in the future as they are today. You look like an old map. You know what? You're not as popular as you think you are. I'm very popular. Oh, I'm sure you are. The entries have to be fairly new, so we're only counting movies that were released in the 2010s. We're basing our picks on the movie's modern critical reception and how well we believe they will age. Number 10, Inside Out. School was great, all right? Let's be honest, any movie released in collaboration with Disney and Pixar could be considered a classic. They're all just so darn good. That said, Inside Out is such a crowning achievement in storytelling and animation that we'd feel guilty not including it. Riley's gone to sleep, Ooh. which is a good thing it, when you think about it because nothing else bad can happen while she's asleep. The movie tells the uplifting tale of a young girl's emotions as they try to make her happy after a stressful move. What the heck is that? Who puts broccoli on pizza? That's it, I'm done. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. The themes and characters in the movie are enduring, and the concept of emotions isn't likely to go away anytime soon. That's anger. He cares very deeply about things being fair. So that's how you want to play it, old man? No dessert? As long as kids have feelings, Inside Out will always be a relatable and touching movie for children everywhere. I could listen to her stories all day. Number 9. Bridesmaids. Help me, I'm poor. No, listen. In an era of raunchy comedies aimed squarely at a male audience, this is the end, for example, Bridesmaids came along in 2011 and changed that dynamic, proving that barfing and pooping can be just as funny with women as they are with men. Well, you're really doing it, aren't you? You're just shitting in the street. Starring a stellar cast of SNL alums and introducing the world to Melissa McCarthy's brand of juvenile humor, Bridesmaids follows the hilarious story of an unfortunate maid of honor. All the girls hate me right now. So you're like the maid of dishonor. Grossing nearly $300 million worldwide, the rom-com was a game changer and will undoubtedly be seen as a milestone for female-driven comedy. This is such a stone cold pack of weirdos and I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. The Wolf of Wall Street. My name is Jordan Belfort, not him, me. After 2011's Hugo, Martin Scorsese returned to Hollywood with a bang in 2013 with one of that year's greatest movies. Come on. With a common denominator. The biographical film tells the story of Jordan Belfort, chronicling his deceptions and the corruption on Wall Street throughout the 80s and 90s. Every day, dozens of money-crazed kids beat a path to my door. Leonardo DiCaprio stunned critics and audiences with his performance and left many scratching their heads as to why he hadn't yet received that coveted Oscar. Can you believe it? Oh my God. The fifth collaboration between Leo and Scorsese, this movie cemented the quality and longevity of their partnership, as they will no doubt go down in history as one of cinema's greatest pairings. Well, you know, if he calls you, you make sure and contact me, okay? Yeah, of, co of course. Number seven, Django Unchained. I like the way you die, boy. As Quentin Tarantino has made a name for himself exploring ultraviolence in the crime genre, more than a few eyebrows were raised when it was announced that his next project would be a Western. How do you like the bounty hunting business? Kill your white folks and they pay you for it? What's not to like? All those fears were laid to rest upon seeing the completed project, as Django Unchained had all the blood, swearing, and sharp dialogue that Tarantino fans love. Not to mention another killer performance from Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, come on over. We got us a fight going on that's a good bit of fun. Following a former slave as he attempts to rescue his wife from a malicious landowner. Django soon became Tarantino's most successful movie at the box office and reinvented the Western for modern audiences. Uh, Cole, before you go, will you tell Miss Laura goodbye? D do what now? I said tell Miss Laura goodbye. 
Bye, Miss Laura. Number six, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I was raised to do one thing, but I've got nothing to fight for. Just like our parents before us, we will now have our own Star Wars to pass on to our kids. Nothing will stand in our way. After more than 30 years of wondering what happened to our favorite characters, J.J. Abrams delivered with Episode 7, mixing in classic characters with new and interesting ones like the self-sufficient Rey and the troubled Kylo Ren. I will finish what you started. Filled with dazzling special effects, a touching story between solid characters, and enough lore to satisfy even the most diehard fans among us, The Force Awakens is a fantastic continuation of the Star Wars universe for future generations. The dark side. A Jedi. Number five, Boyhood. She said you're still staring out the window all day. Not all day. While it may not seem like it at first glance, Boyhood is a truly ambitious movie, as it was filmed sporadically between 2002 and 2013, as child actor Eller Coltrane grew into a young adult. You said that was gonna be my car when I turned 16. <laughs> what? No, I didn't, I never said that. The concept itself makes for an amazing piece of filmmaking, and one that will go down in the history books as a daring and complex piece of work. What if we can use the bumpers? Bumpers are for kids. You know, what are you, two years old? You don't want the bumpers. Life doesn't give you bumpers. The production isn't the only thing that got us talking, as the coming-of-age story of Coltrane's Mason Evans Jr. is filled with memorable and human characters as well as enough touching scenes to move even the most cynical moviegoer. Hey, this next one goes out to a young man in the house. Woo -hoo! And since he was just a small boy, now he's all graduated from high school and making me feel old. Number four, Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold you back anymore. And that's enough of that. Suffice it to say that no one will be letting Frozen go anytime soon. What? It's because she struck you, isn't it? Does it look bad? No, you hesitated. The movie, about a young woman who has to find her ice-conjuring sister, was a cultural phenomenon similar to earlier classic Disney movies, with Anna and Elsa's faces plastered on anything they could be plastered on. What are you doing? I'm going to see my sister. You're gonna kill yourself. I wouldn't put my foot there. Grossing over $1 billion at the box office, it was Disney's most successful movie in years. And it's safe to say that parents of subsequent generations will also be sick of the constant loop of Let It Go. Number three, The Social Network. Awful lot of traffic. You think maybe we shouldn't shut it down before we get into trouble? Who knew that a movie about the creation of Facebook could be so damn captivating? Well, when that movie is written by Aaron Sorkin and directed by David Fincher, you know it isn't likely to be a dud. This is from a lawyer, Mark. They must feel they have some ground. The lawyer is their father's house counsel. What could have been a boring story was turned into intriguing drama through hypnotic dialogue, cold, harsh direction, and an especially calculating performance from Jesse Eisenberg as Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. You must really hate the Winklevosses. I don't hate anybody. The Winklevi aren't suing me for intellectual property theft. They are suing me because for the first time in their lives, things didn't work out the way they were supposed to for them. Whether Facebook will still be around in the coming decades is anyone's guess, but there's no question that this movie will forever remain a classic. That's good. You should be proud of that right there. Don't worry if you don't make it any further. Number two, Mad Max Fury Road. You want that thing off your face? When word got out that George Miller was creating a sequel to the less than classic Beyond Thunderdome 30 years later, more than a few chuckles were uttered. However, the chuckles came to an abrupt end after people witnessed Fury Road's intense practical action. the likes of which we hadn't seen on the big screen for a long time. That's mine. 
following Max as he protects a band of fertile women from the dictator-like Immortan Joe. Fury Road is the movie that made everyone believe in the Aussie dystopian franchise all over again. I live, I die, I live again! Before we take a look at our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I thought I just needed a night's sleep, but it's, it's more than that. But thank you for trying. I'm from Czech Republic. Why are you in Scotland? I just wanted to get away from it all. For if you figure a way to live without serving a master, any master, then let the rest of us know, will you? Number one, Inception. I'm still dreaming. Christopher Nolan has given us a host of future classics over the years, like his 2014 space flick, Interstellar. But we believe Inception will be the longest lasting in our collective memories. Listen, if you're going to perform Inception, you need imagination. Let me ask you something. Have you done it before? Following a group of dream invaders as they plant an idea in a man's head, Inception is filled with rapid-fire editing, heart-tugging emotion, and enough glorious action to keep all eyes glued to the screen. So you knew about these risks, and you didn't tell us. There weren't meant to be any risks. I didn't know we'd be dealing with a load of gunfire. You had no right. For sure to be a future classic, Inception will forever be seen as an unforgettable experience in the imaginative power of film. When we're asleep, our mind can do almost anything. Such as? Do you agree with our list? What movie do you think will be a future classic? We have had a pretty good year ourselves. And you guys are all right in my book. <laughs> For more prediction-based top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The moments, it's just, it's like it's always right now, you know? <laughs> yeah.